call the meeting to order and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, Darwin. <clears throat> All right. Approval and amendment of meeting agenda items. We do need to amend this agenda because we're going to table item 8.2 until January, which is the phase two of the lighting project. Okay. Uh, you want to present that, Scott, or do you got it, Annie? Yeah, I can do it. You want Scott to do it? Okay. And that's just that. I have moved to approve the meeting agenda items for December 9th, 2020 board meeting as presented. Mm -hmm. So I just, just say I move to amend the meeting item because we're going to change it. Yep. The meeting item, agenda items. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So, one I more time. Know. Do it one more time. I move I, to move. You're going to. I move to the, amend the agenda items. 8.2. 2. Mm -hmm. To January. To January. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to approve the meeting agenda items, but amend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 8.2 to January mm -hmm. uh, for the December 9th, 2020 <laughs> board meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Approval of minutes. I move to approve the minutes of November 18th, 2020, as presented. Is there a second? Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of November 18, 2020, at meeting as presented. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Welcome, Corey. Uh, good news. Before I get good news, um, got the football lights done, so I wanted to make sure we let everyone know that. And it's, uh, I was really excited about that. And, um, you know, I went and worked on them Friday and saw all the lights and we adjust things. We also mounted two uh, lights below the scoreboard, so we'll light it up and not leave the shadow. So, pretty excited about that. So, that's good news. Okay. And you want me to give my report now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do it this time. <laughs> I messed, you messed it up last time. Super tennis report. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, the law conference, I want to mention that uh, uh, we had a couple of us got to attend that and work with that. And our uh, Jeff Hedlund, our attorney, also attended it. And he set up an agenda for us. We did a great job uh, getting this, the bang for our buck. Everyone attended different sessions. So that really went well. But I thought it was a very good law conference. And if Jeff was online, I let him say something about it. Oh, so I'll let him say something about it, but I was happy with it. This one really did a good job of kind of dealing with how we do with regulatory compliance and COVID and how that kind of affects all of that. So there's a lot of information on meeting special ed requirements, meeting American Disabilities Act, leave laws, stuff of that nature, and what's, what's applicable and what's not applicable with some of the coronavirus relief. Um, finalizing and stuff like that and also a lot of it was geared to smaller districts because we're still held to a lot of the same rules so um, well put together and honestly one of the more valuable sections was what um, set up by the superintendent for the small schools we actually almost double covered some of the stuff that's in some of the other conference sessions so well done this year and it's also kind of nice to have the online option I think we'll be doing that in the future and maybe more people will be able to attend even if they can only attend certain sessions but this one was definitely very valuable this year yeah. I think I was real pleased. I um, only the only, only thing I would say to correct it was we, we I can't work as hard. I have to have someone else help me do that. <laughs> we did that on Wednesday, and that was really great. But Jeff was uh, was really kind to attend that for us. We did a good job. We had a, we had over sixty plus districts attend the small school one, so it's good. Uh, I want to mention that um, you know the staff's working really hard. I got to walk through all the buildings, and I got to see everyone wearing masks. So we're real, real pleased with that. We're in the safe harbor. Um, part which is really important for us and we're trying to get that extended to mid-February so that's kind of nice takes the pressure off waiting every day to see what happens um, I want to mention that uh, you know I did take off the phase two lighting the reason why I did that is because the ARs have not been written yet and if the ARs aren't written the uh, administrative rules are not written I don't feel comfortable bringing a contract to the board 
So we're going to wait till that's written, and then we'll bring it to the board. And hopefully it's Wednesday. I mean, uh, in January, if not, will be February. But we're going forward with the phase two if the board approves it, and that will allow us to finish the last two buildings, and that would be great. So we'll have all new lights, and then at no cost to us with the money. So. Which is Union and uh, Fremont. Fremont. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, Daily and Fremont buildings. Daily. Um, unions got a little bit convoluted because it's different P, P different public utility. So we're trying to get that worked out. So we're, if I get that worked out, which we will, um, I want to mention that um, um, kindergarten partnerships. I put this here, and I didn't send it to all the board, but we'll scan it. But we have the, this is a take root. So I want to praise Jack um, Thompson, and he's he's the head of that committee. It's out of uh, Douglas ESD, so our community for uh, early learners. So we were able to get kits. For all of our preschools, so those will be arriving either tomorrow or definitely Friday, and then we'll be dispersing those to the entire county. So some of our kids don't have these kits; these are owner learning kits. So as a parent, I can actually sit down, and they're easy to use, manipulatives, and it's it's really great. It'd be a great holiday gift for some of our families. So I wanted to make sure I got that out there. I want to thank. It's a huge partnership. The back back part of it talks about it: Lake County School District Seven, Paisley, Paisley Distance Learning, North Lake. Uh, Plush, Adele, and then community-based schools, all of them are there, so it's really quite phenomenal. And I'm really excited to see everyone come together and work for this. In the governor's budget, there's a lot of money for preschool, so we're going to go after that grant and, and try to have our keep our partnership going. So that's one of the things that I'm, I'm passionate about, because if we get our preschool going, our special ed numbers will go down, because our kids will have a good foundation. So the research is there, we need to make it work. So I want to hit on that one. Um, I want to talk about our KCC partnership. I did provide an option for uh, the president to look at. He said he's going to move back to me by Tuesday. It didn't happen. So I sent him an email and phoned, phoned him again this evening. So hopefully I'll get something tomorrow. But we have a meeting coming up next week with our partners. And I, and I gave a proposal I think we can make work. And we have one of our staff members willing to help out do that. So I'll keep you posted. But I want to make sure you let you know we're not doing that. Uh, prison closure is a big one. We got a lot of us going to be looking at that. It's, it doesn't look good right now. It's um, and the impact of our school district is going to be huge. So I'll keep you posted as we go forward on that. And that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. All right. Any questions? No questions. Thank you all very much. All right. Any public comment? Okay. We'll go to reports. Uh, principals' reports. Who would like to go first? I would be me, I guess. Thank you, Mr. Friend. I like the Christmas tree. I might have had feelings you can put a big tree up. That's awesome. <laughs> There's nothing on it, though. <laughs> it's about yeah, the count. It's going to all take time. Um, I don't have a, a ton to report that's lots of dates and fat and, uh, and hard data. Um, we continue to hold our monthly PBIS assemblies to honor character traits. We are trying to infuse some character education into the elementary buildings because we feel like our kids' social emotional needs are really high right now. Uh, at our monthly PBIS assemblies, we give awards for music, PE, um, accelerated reader awards, attendance, and then sometimes we'll have some writing awards in there as well. Um, we implemented our extended day schedule as of this week. It's been a little bumpy. Um, it sounds easy to go back to your old schedule that you've had for years with the exception of COVID, because you still have to continue to do all that cohorting. So there are adjustments to be made. Um, I'm gonna meet with my staff next week to work on tweaking things that we need to, to make it good for the kids and the staff. Um, we just finished up speech and hearing screenings. I canceled the dental screenings until February. I was pretty nervous uh, right before Thanksgiving about the uptick in our COVID numbers and, and having that much uh, real close interaction for a longer period of time. Hearing screens just take a minute or two, but the dental stuff is sometimes half an hour, you know, kind of sessions. So we, we put those out. Our partners were great about rescheduling those in February. They're great to work with. Um, we have received our received quite a few Chromebooks. I'd like to give a big shout out and kudos to Mr. Carter, Mr. Reese, and, and uh, Shauna Alexander. Alexander, they have been working and processing Chromebooks. They're engraved, cataloged, and ready to go. They are in our elementary school kids' hands. They're practicing on the Chromebooks in the event that we go through distance learning after Christmas break. Um, it's been great to be able to see those kids um, 
getting geared up for that and, and using that technology. Our goal is to have teachers teaching live uh, instruction and distance learning, but also to record all of the lessons that they do each day to archive them. Some of our teachers already do that so that a sick kiddo can join in from home during that live instruction and interact with their peers and also interact with their teacher, which is great and creates that equity piece for us. But also, if they can't join live because they're a little person and they need mom to help after school time, after their work time, we record those lessons and then they are archived and they can pull them up and do them in the evenings. So that's our goal with our, our Chromebooks that we've received. Our music teachers are working really hard to finish up our virtual winter programs. They're filming kids in their classroom and they're performing winter songs just like they normally would. Um, we're just um, making it work, and they have just been really great about that. They will post their virtual performances for our families to enjoy right before we go to break. Uh, our COVID situation right now, we do have a few students and teachers in, in uh, quarantine, but they are not uh, necessarily school-related exposures at this time. All our classrooms are back and intact. We just have a few uh, outside-of-school exposures where we had to do some quarantining. That's about all I have, uh, unless you guys have any questions. I just want to say thank you. It's a lot of work, and thank you. Yep. We have wonderful staff and wonderful people and a great district, and so I appreciate the opportunity to do it. You're welcome. Yes, thanks. <clears throat> awesome. Thanks, Susan. All right. About we move on to Mr. Stratton. Good evening, everybody. Um, yes, the tree's not decorated, but it is in my house. <laughs> 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 Last year, the tree was in the house just to see. So, there you go. Um, middle school is rocking it. I'm excited to have everybody back in the building after our um, double grade quarantine and about 50, 35 or 40 other students. So it's been, it's been good. Uh, uh, I think, too, one thing we noticed is the students are taking masks a little bit more seriously after the quarantine. I think that helps a little bit. Um, so some kudos to Mrs. White and her art class. They went up town and painted some Christmas um, designs, winter designs, on the bike shop. That's really nice. So that's pretty cool. We want to close out. And she's um, asked other businesses, but right now I'm pretty sure she just has a one hit all town cyclery. Um, she's doing the windows in the front of the high school office, if you want to see those with their art students too, so it's pretty cool. Excited last month, I was in a um, CTE meeting with um, the Central Oregon High Desert ESD, and they were talking about a new project for junior high students, um, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, TE, career-based, and when it was all said and done, I hit Brooke Rich up and said I was interested. She goes, I was hoping you would be one of the schools that I was interested in. So um, Daily Middle School is going to be in a pilot program for CTE, um, mainly on career pathways. Uh, the junior high CTE teacher, high school CTE teacher, and, and one core teacher together, um, I'm pretty excited about that. And it's a five-year grant slash project, so it's not going to be a flash in the pan. For me at the school, um, I'm going to leave the Oregon um, Athletic Association stuff for Mr. Rose, so if you have any questions, I'm ready. Perfect. Have a good evening. I just want to say thanks to, I don't want to leave you guys out, <laughs> you and Chris as well. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. Mr. Rose. Okay. Uh, this is embarrassing. I have to use my headlamp so I have enough light to read. Um, so I'm going to turn my camera off and that'll save some bandwidth too. Sorry, I forgot my glasses. Yeah, I've already been made fun of. Okay. Um, I'm for, the late view, <laughs> um, for the Lakeview Academy, uh, still with 78 enrollments. We've got these five weeks left, so our semester ends at the same time. 
three students that are on an early grad track, so they'll be graduating uh, that, and then uh, moving on to other things. Um, that means that it's, uh, we are in the process right now. Uh, Ms. Farr is reaching out, talking to every family to see her for next semester, where, where they feel um, instruction would be most beneficial for their child. So strong group of a, a, a dozen or more, looks like 13, um, and are firm about coming back. 12, that's all mixed in different levels. And we have a small handful of students actually that are looking to move to the Lakeview Academy. Um, a handful of these students right now are, are to support them, reason they're, they're working from home at this point, and so we're supporting them in that and continuing to provide their education where there's a, a cleaner break and they have time to uh, courses and finish their courses, then they'll be able to start there in semester. Mr. Carter had mentioned that, that law class, or the law conference, and that was really good. I found it extremely helpful for myself. I know Lane and I had a couple uh, couple courses there that were just right up our alley that we needed, so I'm grateful for that. Um, I had another one today from the Hungerford Law Firm uh, that was actually... Um, pretty applicable to my job today, what I had to do. So it, it's good that it's, even though we're having to stay, stay here for PD, we're able to get some quality PD online too. Um, today we also had an OSAA meeting online. And I will say that through the law conference, the Hungerford meeting today and the OSAA meeting, um, I'm just counting my blessings that we are able to be in person and uh, not in a CDL format. That's what everybody is in the state, and so that's the topic of conversation. And um, it's hard; it's it's hard that way. And so we're just so fortunate. I'm so grateful for that. Um, today, the OSAA moved around the seasons, really in hopes of salvaging the the winter sports team season, those full contact sports of basketball and wrestling. Things back, so fall sports. Fall sports starts on February 22nd, spring, and then the winter teams. So winter, May, and late April. Uh, where's my... So winter actually starts May 10th. Um, so we could conceivably be playing uh, basketball and attending wrestling tournaments in May and June. So it's a little bit different. There were lots of questions by ADs across the state, but um, those ADs, they're all former ADs to my knowledge at OSAA. They're just working hard to provide opportunities for students. Um, we're going to have Ms. Kohut just working on the virtual concert that was to be next Thursday, the 17th. And she's working to put that together virtually now because of our county status and not being able to get indoor. However, today's numbers, I believe, said that this week is one of those movement weeks. Um, so we may we may be able to change here for that. Um, but she's doing a great job, just knocked out a great job with all she's done. Um, we're all happy to, with her hard work. And I want to uh, also recognize GK Sound Booth. They've made a um, large donation towards um, improving one of the practice rooms in the music classroom. Lane, I can't remember if you had talked about this last time or not, but since I'm on the topic, I'll just roll into it. Um, they're donating labor and excess materials to upgrade all of the insulation in one of our practice rooms, including the door, the wind, that which is around the window, the walls, the floor, the ceiling. And Ms. Coda is just thrilled with that as well. Uh, that's all. Any questions? No. You're in the. <clears throat> you pulled it off. Good job. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ms. Chavez, did you have anything? She did not. She did not. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, financial report. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, a couple of things before I get started on the financial report. Um, we've been moving uh, along quite well on the audit. We're almost wrapped up with that, I heard, today. Um, so they should be getting us a draft. So I'm hoping that January's meeting they would be able to present. I'm not going to promise that, but I'm going to push for February's meeting um, for them to present <coughs> um, the audit report. 
but in next month, we're going to have, Michael and I talked about the supplemental. We've got a pretty uh, significant supplemental. It's over 10%. So we need to get that done. Um, so I've been kind of intermittently working on that, but I think I can get my focus in on that now um, with the audit pretty much well wrapped up. Um, and so that should be coming in January. That should be pretty fairly simple um, with explanation. <clears throat> the next thing is that um, right after the first of the year, we are going to look at um, or having our, our 21-22 budget um, up for grabs. Um, so one, a couple of things we were advertising for that vacant position that's been um, on there for quite a while. I do have a couple of interests in it. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, so we're asking for letter, letters of interest. Um, then the other thing is, is I would kind of hope and kind of get some feedback. I already got from the other uh, budget committee mem members feedback for dates. Um, so we can kind of get those marked because we all know it's such a struggle once we get to the springtime that um, everybody gets busy. So April 26th, uh, excuse me, April 26th and May 10th, for sure those two days and then of course I always do a third day um, just in case something goes awry but I always push to be done in two days um, and so that third day is May 24th um, if that kind of works for everybody um, kind of look at your calendars and, and let me know um, I was going to present a, a budget calendar in the January meeting um, and so so if I've got a pretty good consensus on on those dates then then we can move forward and you guys can let me know at any time. <clears throat>